What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're back here at 360 Auto Works and we got some stuff we're getting ready to put on the interior of the car. First thing we got here is a Subi Speed carbon fiber steering wheel, the red strip at the top, and leather on the sides. I think these retail for like $4.99. I got this shit on Facebook Marketplace. Kid had it on his car for a month, I think he said. No scratches for $325. One of those parts don't matter if they're used, it's not beat up, good to go. We also have a new e-brake lever and the button to go with that. We got these from Billet Works. And we have Stitch Boot Dior fabric, e-brake uh, boot, and the new shift boot to go with that. Again, this Dior fabric. So let's get these on there. So the first thing we gotta do to get these new boots installed is we gotta pop this, uh, the trim off here, and then we'll pop this off, get these ripped off. All you gotta do is reach, let's pull this down, reach in here and pop up, there you go. Take off the shifter knob. Got the boom racing. And then go ahead and pull this over. Next thing you're gonna do, we just gotta pop these tabs off with a little needle nose plier. Reach in here. Might want to get out for that. <clears throat> and we'll just slide this over the same way. All right. All right, now that those are off, we gotta, we'll heat this up, get the old plastic one ripped off and put the new e-brake handle and button on. All right, so it's actually easier if you pull it from the inside and push it at the same time. Kind of just with your hands, really. All right, so we finally got that off. These clips suck. I hate dealing with clips. But we got it off and we only broke one. So that's fine. Uh, now we're gonna remove this shift boot and place the other one on. I was thinking about just going over top, but being how that was already hard to take off, I don't think it'll work too well. So let's just take this one off. And now we are ready to put the other shift boot on and put that back. I'm gonna use this fabric glue here. It's supposed to be quick drying. I'm gonna put it all around the outsides of this and on the inside of this boot and get it put on. All right, what I think I'm gonna wind up doing is just gluing the fabric over the leather. It didn't, this fabric glue didn't seem like it like sticking to plastic very well. If not, I'm just gonna have to get new glue. So we'll try this out. And um, this stuff says fast drying, dries in 15 minutes or three minutes. I don't know, I think it sucks. So I'm probably gonna go get something else. It's not sticking very well to the fabric. 
just keeps like popping up. I don't know, it doesn't feel real sticky, so it's real watery. So we're gonna try something else. All right, we ran to advance. We got this glue here. Shit should work, give it a try. So to get this off, we're gonna heat it up with a heat gun. Just slide it right off. You just gotta heat the glue up so it loosens up. Pops right off. You gotta take this button off, unscrew it. If you're not trying to destroy it, get a towel, put it over it, and twist it off. All right, while we're in here, we're gonna tighten up my e-brake. It's not so damn loose. All you gotta do is tighten this bolt here a little bit. Yeah, right, while the glue's drying, we're gonna go ahead and slide our billet works. E-brake. Lever on. All right, while you're tightening down the handle, you're gonna wanna hold the button in. And then get it close without letting it hit the button. Tighten it up. That way the button's not sticking out real far. Tighten them one by one. So you kind of get it in the middle. That's it. Get this put back in. That's it. He's on. All right, so the first thing you gotta do when doing the steering wheel is just unplug the battery. I took it out because I dropped the bolt in there and I couldn't find it. So we got that out. You gotta come over here, get these tabs. I'll yeah, show you. I have to go in like this. Right See, here. You're gonna miss it a hundred times before you hit it. There's three of them. One, two, this and the this third thing. one on the bottom pops the airbag out. Then we gotta unplug these. Take that bolt out there. We'll get the new one in. Unplug this tab, hold this up while you're taking this out and be careful when you're pulling it off. You're taking off the wheel, leave that bolt on sale and smack yourself in the face. Wiggle up and down, left and right. Then it'll come loose, it's loose. Once it's loose, you can take the bolt off. Make sure this clock spring doesn't come out of you. Yeah, you gotta buy a new one, 100 bucks. Hold that. Yeah, it's very important. Make sure it stays straight. I right, gotta transfer all this stuff over to the other way.
for this video. We got the new wheel on, we got the new shift boots and the new e-brake handle. Uh, I got some interior and exterior parts stacked up at the house. Let me know what you want to see next in the comments section. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you.